so uh, last no- uh, Tuesday night, the premiere episode of this season's Dark Side of the Ring aired, which featured your brother and his uh, then misses, the very controversial Tammy Sunny Sitch. Uh, I thought it came across very well. You came across very well in the documentary. Um, Thank you. Your, your, your thoughts. What was uh, What's your opinion of it now that you've seen it aired? So the first time I watched it, I was like, I was on pins and needles. I was waiting for, because mm. I didn't get to, like, you know, they, they interviewed me over two days. Long story short, I liked it. It came across really, really good. And right. it was, it was more my brother's story and, and Tammy was in it. Right. As opposed to the two of them, because, you know, my brother, since, since he was, as you know, I said in the dark side of the ring, I call him cook when I was a kid, I couldn't say Chris. Right. So I called him Cook, and throughout our entire lives, I I called him Chris once in ECW Arena. I was like, "Hey, Cook, Cook." He couldn't hear me. I'm like, "Chris." He runs over. He's like, "Dude, don't ever call me that again. It sounds weird." I'm like, "Yeah, it felt <laughs> weird." But uh, so you know, my, my brother Cook. That's why I always say my brother because I never say Chris. He right. uh, it was his story. He was so passionate about wrestling. He started he he started working. When he was 13, he, you know, he, oh shit. Yeah. He, he, he actually went to a, a council meeting in our town. Yeah. Cause at the time he was training at the Monster Factory. Right. Right. And, uh, and he was sneaking off to like indie shows whenever he could to like set up the ring and take bumps. And like that's all he gave a shit about was, right. was wrestling. Right. So when he was 13, he, uh, he was at the Monster Factory and, he was able to use the ring. So he went to a town council meeting, like all dressed up in like a suit and tie, went in there and like proposed why he should have wrestling, you know, at, at the park in Spring Lake. Yeah. And uh, and he, he knew Bam Bam from the Monster Factory. Bammer was like 20, 21. Um, and then John, who was Balls Mahoney, yes. you know, him and my brother were the same age. And they had like, uh, you know, a bunch of the younger guys wrestling. And they did that, you know, during the summers when they were like 13, 14, 15. And you know it was it was super cool, and that's you know he was just so passionate about the business. He loved it so much, you know. I don't think I've ever loved anything as much as my brother loved professional wrestling. You know, like yeah. he, he just loved it. Right. Um. So, so oh yeah, I, I thought it came across great. You know, I'm that that's uh, I sometimes I keep fucking talking, but yeah, no, I thought it came across great. I'm very happy with the with the documentary. So, um, gentlemen, it's official. Cafe de Rene Patreon is officially launched, and for as low as $5 a month, you can make your wrestling watching experience more enjoyable, in some case, enjoyable, period. <laughs> so follow the link down below, and we have different tiers for everyone, and I'd like to thank everyone who has already joined up and signed up to our Patreon. Cafe de Rene Patreon, for as low as $5 a month, you can... Watch all your weekly wrestling with myself, Paul London, and occasionally other special guests. See you soon, guys. Thank you.